In this video, we will look at some of the new graphics update in Unity 2019.3. So without further ado, let's get started. The High Definition Render Pipeline or HDRP is now out of preview, which means now it is a verified package and you can use it to achieve high fidelity graphics and photorealism in your games, cinematics and architectural visualization projects. In this update, HD Render Pipeline includes custom render pass and custom post processing. Although to create this custom effect and passes, you have to have a basic knowledge of graphics programming. But once you understand it, you can easily create your own render passes and effects. In the new HDRP, Unity has added a completely new physically based sky system. You can use this new sky system to simulate a realistic looking sky during both daytime and nighttime. To use this sky, go to your visual environment tab and from the type choose physically based sky and add a physically based override to change its parameters. Also in light setting, change static lighting sky to physically based sky. It has a lot of parameters to simulate any kind of cartoon, sci-fi or realistic sky. It comes with this easy earth checkbox which automatically set all the required parameter according to the earth environment. I highly encourage you to play with this parameter and create your own sky system. LookDev is an experimental image based lighting tool that allow you to check and compare different assets through a viewer to ensure they are correctly authored for various lighting conditions. To use this tool, go to Windows, Render Pipeline and select LookDev. Click on New Environment to make a new environment and then from Environment setting, choose the HDRI you want. And then drag the HDRI into Viewer. Now you can drag and drop any prefab or 3D game object into the look dev window to see how it will look in the final lighting. In the HDRP, they have added this kind of quality preset in various parameters, which allow you to create multiple HDRP assets for your project, each with different graphics quality configuration. This means now users of your application can select a quality level that best suits their hardware. HDRP now includes real-time ray tracing features as a preview feature such as real-time GI and path tracing which in offline world would require longer render times. So if you have any of this following graphics card and like to get started, download the sample of his project from GitHub or follow the Unity documentation. Links are given in the description. The next major improvement is the lightweight render pipeline is now renamed to universal render pipeline which as the name says can be used almost all the major platform while providing best visual quality and performance. So regardless if you are building a 2D, 3D, VR or AR project, you only need to develop once to deploy everywhere. Universal Render Pipeline or URP now comes with a completely revamped integrated post-processing stack for greater performance. And this new post-processing also supports volume like HD Render Pipeline. Basically now you can achieve HDRP like color grading in universal render pipeline as well. Same like HDRP, visual effect or VFX graph is now verified for Unity 2019.3 and integrated with shader graph, which allow you to easily create high fidelity visual effects. They have also added motion vectors and particle strips to the visual effect graph, providing you with even more control of your particle effects. With motion vectors, you can now use post-processing motion blur effect to add a blur to fast moving effects. In shader graph, you can now add shader keywords to create static branches in your graph, which can be used for building your own shader LOD system. They have also added support for vertex skinning for dots animation and sticky notes to improve your workflow, which lets you leave comment and explanation for anyone working on the project. They have also provided a subgraph sample pack to learn how you can use the math to create procedural shape and patterns. So if you are new to Shader Graph, I highly recommend you to check this package. Link is given in the description. In 2019.3, you can merge light props between additively loaded scenes. In simple words, if you merge two or multiple scenes with light prop in it, then all the light props will blend seamlessly, providing you an even lighting solution for all the mesh renders. This is also very helpful to handle lighting for large scenes that are broken up into smaller chunks. In new HDRP, two new light shapes, box and pyramid has been added to spotlight which can be used with progressive light mapper. Both shapes can be entirely baked or used as mixed mode light with full support for shadow mask. Inner spot angle is now also supported for baked light map in both HDRP and universal render pipeline. And good news for AMD users, 
If you are using a AMD graphics card, then now you can use this new AMD Redon Pro light map denoiser to achieve smoother lighting result with fewer samples. And because I'm using a Nvidia graphics card, that's why this option is not available on my system. And lastly, my favorite feature, a new light map exposure slider is added in the baked light map mode. This allows you to correctly visualize the baked light map. It is very helpful when you are using real world intensity for your lights. You can find the same slider in light map preview window as well. There are a few other updates which I also want to mention. They have improved the main thread performance of progressive light mapper which means now you can smoothly work in Unity Editor while baking the light map. Light power sampling has been added to progressive CPU light mapper which means now with fewer rays you can get smoother noise free light map. Now it's also possible to unlock sample count used by light probes. This feature can improve light probe quality in noisy lighting condition, for example scene that has emissive material or multi-bounce lighting. So these are some of the major graphics improvement in Unity 2019.3. If you want to know more about these features, please check the link given in the description or go to Unity's website. If you have any queries regarding my videos, you can always ask me in the comment section or join my discord server. Link is given in the description. I would also like to thank Hannah Sinkonan, Adam Smith, Anton Kono Plianchenko, Dimdu, Henry Weaver, and Nicholas Gennady Korta for supporting me on Patreon. So that's pretty much it. See you in the next video. Namaste.